Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we are going to get into installing and or upgrading to Momentum firmware for the Flipper Zero. Let's get into this video. So before we get into the installing and or upgrading to Momentum firmware, just to go over some quick tidbits on the Flipper Zero. Now, those that know me, I always say that the Flipper Zero is for amateurs. That being said, why do I say that? Well, number one is because most people on TikTok use the Flipper Zero. So they are out there, they are known, they are not hidden in the wild. A lot of kids use them to fuck around, mess around, do pranks. You know, I might know some people that are in the parking lot at the mall where it has a 24 hour fitness and they're fucking with some dude's Tesla coming, going back and forth 20 times, <laughs> opening the gas can. Um, I don't know who might do that, but you know, they get people like that once in a while, you know, that like to do bullshit pranks, um, that don't like to act their age. <laughs> but anyway, so that being said, now that doesn't mean they aren't useful in the field. It's just that if you were to go on, you know, let's just say you were doing a physical pen test assessment, nine times out of 10, you're going to have more people know what these devices are, what they're capable of, or that they've seen them on some kind of video via TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, et cetera. And they're going to see them do some kind of malicious or prankster things. Um, so what I mean that they're for amateurs is, they're mostly going to be for that kind of crowd you're going to see. Now, that's not saying people with skills don't use them because I do use them. However, if you're doing a, a real, let's just say physical pen test or a red team engagement that includes a physical pen test during the day, um, you're not going to probably utilize this as much as you would a Proxmark, iCopy XS, uh, the Chameleon, um, certain, uh, what is it, the Practical Physical Security, I forgot the name of the company, but where you just tap on the reader uh, as a uh, actual reader that will, will take credentials, and you put a, a HID reader cover on the main reader, plug up a sign and tell people this is the temporary reader for now, stuff like that, uh, rather than this. Now, these do come in handy, especially once you make it inside. They're easier to clone, copy, depending on the badge, badges or credentials, RFIDs, NFCs that they use for that company or facility. So that being said, that is why I say that Flipper Zero are for Flipper Zeros are more for amateurs than other tools. Now, again, I'm not saying I will not or never use them because I do. I have about three of these right now. I technically had four. I gave, I had five. I gave one to each of my kids. So uh, that being said, I do use them. Uh, I like them. Um, I use them, especially when I go to Vegas uh, or any traveling scenario. I don't take them out and flash because like I said, at the airport, they will flag you down. Um, I've had, uh, myself pulled aside a couple of times because of some of the hacking tools and stuff that I had in my bag, especially when they saw this with this the, uh, antenna or a uh, module with the antenna. Um, so just be wary of that. Just make sure it's just tucked away. Um, so that being said, let's start this uh, upgrading and or installing momentum firmware. So let's get into this. I am going to take my GPIO device off. As you can see, it is powered off right now. I am going to plug in my Flipper Zero. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but it did power on. Cord's not long enough. I gotta get a longer cord. So let's go into Momentum Firmware https colon slash slash momentum tack fw.dev we are going to hit the install button unsupported browser oh my my let's see oh
Firefox. All right, one second, let me change my browser. All right, we are on Chrome. Let's go ahead and go to Momentum. There we go, Flipper Zero is still on. Now, what we're gonna do is, let's see main features, asset packets, or packets, asset packs, new, new interface, momentum settings, find my bad KB and BLE spam. I heard that doesn't really work that much, especially crashing the iPhone since the update. I believe it was 17.x something. Um, I haven't tried it yet, I haven't used it in a while. Uh, actually, I haven't even really used my Flipper Zero since DEF CON. Uh, enhanced JS scripting, momentum settings. So what I hear is pretty much momentum is uh, pretty much the new state of the art, which what it looks like uh, pretty much has a little bit of everything from the other two main ones. Rogue Master and Unleashed. What was the other one? Extreme as well. Um, they also have a Discord on here. So let's go ahead and start this. Uh, feature rich, stable, customize. Let's click install. Let's connect our flipper. It's gonna pop up with, I don't know if you could see it. Um, connect. Oop. It doesn't pop up on the screen, but connect. I'm gonna click mine. There we go. Now, release, let's see what this is about. We got the dev option, or I'm assuming this is up to date, and then we got the dev flash. Note, this is a smaller release due to the bug fixes it contains. Make sure to also read the change log for MNTM TAC 006. NFC added new Saflock parser, uh, Evilmog, Arkling, desktop new Prosconics Dolphin. All right, got some new NFC stuff. Updated apps, Pico Pass, when keys are unknown, emulate with a dummy Mac and ignore reader Max. Cedar, card parsing and saving UI and logic improvements. NFC playlist, allow delay up to 12 seconds. BLE spam fix, delay section. Wave player fixed, sub gigahertz, blah, 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 RG backlight fixed. Looks like they have some new stuff since I've updated it um, or since I've added this. So let's go ahead, hit flash. Loading firmware files. Again, guys, this is really easy um, to do. They've made it easier, um, at least from momentum. Some of the other ones were like this as well. Uh, but I remember when these first came out, You'd have to do the files up, or I would do it. I would upload from the Q flipper, and then I would throw in the uh, the quote unquote jailbroken firmware is what my friend likes to call it. So it's loading the firmware files right now, as you could see. Um, not sure how I forgot how long this the momentum one takes, but it shouldn't be no more than about five eight minutes. So let's check the flipper. It's still on the screen. Updating resources.tar.gz. So one thing about this too is uh, some of the hotels I know have changed credentials. Um, I think it was the Fairfield Inn when I went to go do the conference into my corporate office in my uh, Miami Pembroke Pines area, Pembroke Pines area. Um, you needed to download some keys. So I might make another video like that where I do some added key installs into the Flipper Zero that aren't on there um, and then be able to crack those newer uh, cards. Also too, DEF CON 32, I got the MyFair, um, my oh god damn the my fair implant so i want to order another one um i know they had their they're in town today in dallas i wish i could have went but um i wasn't able to make it especially my son being sick and then i had my stomach issue so i wanted to see if i was going to be able to get their fido uh, implant installed but i'll have to wait for that um seeing if i could do some tap and go payment stuff 
So here we go. Update in progress. Update in progress. Pay attention to your flipper. Again, guys, this is really easy. Um, you can't really screw this up. So pretty much it all it does everything for you. Update in progress. Pay attention to your flipper. Let's see what it says. Mine shut off. Turn back on. Installing core too busy 3%, 30%. Man, I went up fast. Still installing, writing flash. It's going pretty quick. Uh, another thing too that I like, um, I haven't done it yet. I actually want to play with it because we have, uh, I live two blocks from a lake. So kitty corner right across the street is a gas station. I want to try to fuck with their, uh, <laughs> lower their price pricing, see if that really works. Um, I've seen videos. I haven't, I haven't personally had friends that have done that. Um, but I have had friends of friends that have done that. I never talked to them or asked them about it, but I do want to try that. So um, if they do watch this video, oops, but I'll do it in a friendly way to show them their vulnerabilities. <laughs> but yeah, I want to check that out, see if that actually works. Uh, I did see some videos where they're changing some traffic lights. I don't know if I'm going to get that too involved with the Flipper Zero because that's like some craziness on the GPIOs. Um, that is my older realm when I was a kid to do shit like that, but I don't know if I'm going to go down that route. We'll see. Maybe in some free time next year, I might I might do that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Extracting resources, 3%. Uh, let's see what else. Game laser, show weather station. That should be, oh, show weather station, icon, WS signals. API publishing. I know there really hasn't been that much new stuff on the flipper. Um, I was told that they're coming out with a new one. Don't know if that's true or not. I haven't seen any videos on that, um, but that would be cool. I would be interesting to see what they would do with a new flipper. Um, yeah, I don't know what, I mean, the only thing I could really think of is if they put some, something more like the Chameleon or iCopy XS, Proxmark, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I would how that would be. Not knocking it. I, I would get it, but just not sure if it would be worth it for everybody to get. Um, so, like I said, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. Extracting resources stuck at 12% still. Hopefully we're not held up. Oh, there it goes, 14%. So, the other thing I like to um, talk about on the flipper is... Um, their evil portal is good. I haven't used it in a while, almost shit, probably about seven, eight months. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty good. They have some good templates that are really, that look really good, especially for the mobile aspect of it. Um, I was really impressed with it. I didn't think it would be that good or sophisticated. Um, yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. It's worth it. Um, the reason why I give this to my, I give these to my kids is just in case of a situation because of the, you know, shit that happens at schools these days and they get locked in or locked out, they're able to utilize these. And I've been to both their schools. My daughter goes to my old high school in California and I've been to my son's school where my daughter went for once half the year and um, vetted these out already. So they do work at both their schools, luckily. Uh, out the box too, believe it or not. So that was really good. Um, almost done with this. It's that 40%. This one's going really slow than last time. I thought it was going to be quicker from what my friend said. Anyway, yeah, if anyone has a black flipper zero or a clear one that they're willing to sell, let me know. Hit me up. I will buy it off you ASAP. Um, I did not get to, I lost my original one, black one a long time ago, and I did not get a chance to buy the clear one that was on sale at the Flipper Zero site, or not on sale that they were just selling. I think it was normal price or even a little bit higher. But that being said, if anyone does have one that wants to get rid of it, let me know, I will buy it. Um, I don't know if I could go off this page without it messing up, I don't wanna, Dip that out. Oh, and another thing too that I just found out, I'm going to be playing with um, ChatGPT apparently does good Flipper Zero 
apps as far as building coding from what I was told. So I'm gonna mess around with that and see if that's actually true. If it is, I will do a video for that. Do some, see what kind of stuff we could build and create out of Python and chat GPT for our flipper zero. This is going really slow. It's at 80% now. Um, what other use cases can we use the flipper zero for? Um, I, I did mess with the credit card stuff. I did mine. Um, it did get the credit card number, but I don't know how useful that'll be. Um, I know there are some sites that do the credit card number. Um, obviously, if you're that close to the credit card, you're gonna know the person's name and the expiration date. Um, there, there are some sites that you don't need the three digit code security code. Um, I've never, you know, done anything malicious like that, but um, yeah, I don't know how Credit cards have been updated since then. That was almost a little over a year ago since DEPCON 32, actually. But I'm sure that's going to be pretty much a cat and mouse game with that coming up. And also with Tap and Go, that would be nice if um, Tap and Go stuff was hot on the market, too. That would be really insane and bad at the same time. Uh, have people freaking this shit out. But um, yeah, that would be something to work into or look into and work into on as a side project. Not sure if you could do it with the flipper, but other devices, I'm pretty sure sooner or later will be able to happen. Um, so that being said, it's still going. Uh, it's at 92%. Um, should be done hopefully within the next minute or two. All right, it stopped. Um, well, not stopped, it finished. Uh, momentum firmware updated okay let's see if this goes through there we go we're going to hit the right arrow button and it has updated nice uh, and let's see let's see if it still scans i haven't done this in a while Let's see, there we go. My Fair Classic. I don't know if y'all could see it. That is my implant in my left hand, My Fair Classic 1K. So that being said, that's pretty much all you do to update and or install Momentum firmware onto your Flipper Zero. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more Flipper Zero, not, you know, some more Flipper Zero videos, maybe some shorts in the future. Also Proxmark, Procmark, Proxmark, X, God damn it. I copy SX, Proxmark, and um, some Chameleon videos in the future. Um, as I am going to get ready for another uh, physical pen test engagement, I'll also be doing uh, what I'm going to be carrying, lock pick set under the door tool, my whole bag that I'm going to be wearing. I'm actually going to change the, my bag uh, that I'll be wearing as a physical pen tester. Um, not going to, uh, my every, EDC everyday carry while I'm on those engagements slash in the office will always be triple lot design axiom bag. Uh, I'm also going to be utilizing um, and getting the uh, silent backpack, SLNT, and I will have my um, new physical pen test engagement bag. Might be a little trippy to some, but you'll see why. And it's going to be, there'll be two of them for two different types of scenarios, the way I'm dressed. So that being said, that's the video for today. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Have fun with your flipper. Be responsible. Um, use it for educational purposes only and uh, have a good one everyone please like comment share subscribe see you on the next video bye